the foremost attributes of the first generation of freedom fighters who faced the monster of imperial domination with unflinching courage and commitment to prevail even if it cost them everything, including their very lives. Habari za ajoni mtazamaji wangu mahali popote ulipo niombi na matumaini yangu kwamba uboeri wa hafi na Mwenyezi Mungu anaendelea kukulinda karibu ni kufahamisha yale ambayo yanaendelea kutokea hapa nchini Kenya. Mtazamaji siku hii ya leo William Samoe Ruto alikuwa upande wa kwale uh, kuweza kuhudhuria sherehe ya Mashujaa Day Celebration ambayo imefanyika siku hii ya leo na mtazamaji wangu sijui kama William Samoe Ruto watu ambao wanampea intelligence William Samoe Ruto uh, nadhani kwamba wanamkosea kwa sababu wanamdanganya ground sasa hivi watu wanamchukia sana William Samoe Ruto kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo yanaendelea sana sana kuhusiana na vile Rigathi Gashagwa anafanyiwa unajua Rigathi Gashagwa amezungumza leo na akasema kwamba hata uh, kuna ame, wamejaribu kumwekea sumu mara tatu lakini uh, akawa mjanja zaidi lakini pia wamejaribu yani wamejaribu kumuua mara tatu unajua <laughs> Kulingana na Rigathi Gashagwa anasema kwamba mambo ambayo yanamfanya William Samoe Ruto haeze kukasirika na yeye ni kwa sababu ya kumwambia ukweli. Kumwambia kwamba hii mambo ya housing affordable housing haifurahishi wa Kenya, kumwambia kwamba hii mambo ya adani sio nzuri kwa Kenya, lakini pia kumwambia kwamba uh, mambo ambayo yanaendelea sasa hivi hapa nchini Kenya kama corruption imekuwa nyingi zaidi. So Rigathi Gashagwa anasema kwamba William Samoe Ruto ni mtu ambaye hakuna uh, waziri ambaye anaweza kumwambia chochote, kumrekebisha I mean yeye tu ndio alikuwa na uwezo wa kumrekebisha na ndio maana unaona anataka kumtoa ayake mtu ambaye hata kuwa anamsumbua kwa decision zake akisema tufanye hivi hakuna mtu ambaye atakuwa anaweza akamgeuza ama akaweza kuanza kubishana na yeye so mtazamaji wangu siku hii ya leo William Samoe Ruto alikuwa upande wa kwale na anataka nikuoneshe vile William Samoe Ruto alifanyiwa upande wa kwale mtazamaji wangu ndio ujue kwamba wa Kenya wako na hasira sana na William Samoe Ruto na serikali yake ya Kenya kwanza kidogo tu kabla ya kuchezea hizo video mtazamaji wangu na kuomba kidogo tu utasamehe Taka ni washukuru wale wote ambao wanaendelea kujitokeza kumsaidia Jen. Jen yuko na shida ya kanza ya matiti na wiki mbili ambazo zimepita tulikuwa tunamchangia hapa kwenye hii channel ya Jitan Daily Politics tulikuwa tunafanya challenge ya moja kuweza kulipa uh, uh, bill ya hospitali ambayo ilikuwa ni laki mbili na elfu hamsini. As we speak mtazamaji wangu Jen anaendelea poa lakini bado uh, bill imeongezeka mpaka Uh, ama imeongezeka na laki moja na elfu hamsini na sita ndio uh, sasa uh, na waomba watazamaji wangu kwa sababu sisi ndio tulianzisha kumsaidia Jen tuweze kumalizia uh, tufanye challenge ya mia moja mia moja tena kuhakikisha kwamba tumeweza kumsaidia Jen nilikuwa pale na nikamwaidi kwamba team Jetan Daily Politics tutaendelea kumsaidia mpaka tuhakikishe kwamba ameweza kutoka hospitalini na mtazamaji wangu kama umekuwa ukifuatilia uh, group yetu ya WhatsApp ambayo nitaiweka hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section uh, utaona vile Jen amezungumza mambo video nyingi ambazo sinza hospitali ambazo hatuwezi tukasishia hapa kwa sababu ya hiyo kidonda ambayo iko kwa matiti tukiishia shia kutika uh, rules za YouTube haiwezi ikaruhusu lakini mtazamaji wangu hakipona kabisa nitawaletea Jen hapa kwenye hii channel haeze kuzungumza na nyinyi awaambie shukran kwa hivyo chochote ambacho unaweza kupata mtazamaji wangu hiwe ni kumi, elfu, elfu mbili, elfu kumi chochote ambacho unaweza ukakapata jamani tuweze kusaidia Jen aweze kurudi katika hali yake ya kawaida nilikwambia kwamba ni single mother hako na watoto watatu na wazazi wake ama familia yake haina uwezo ya kuweza kumlipia hiyo hospital ya hospitali nilimwambia kwamba team Jetan Daily Politics tutafanya challenge tena tuhakishie kwamba tumeweza kumtoa hospitali kwa sababu sisi ndio tulianzisha hiyo challenge na niko na wakea kwamba tutaweza kuimalizia na Jen atatoka hospitali akiwa salama kabisa uh, na Mwenyezi Mungu azidi kukubariki tena zaidi lakini pia nakuongezea tena zaidi kwa yole, yoyote ambaye anaendelea kuchangia kwa chochote kile Niwashukuru wale wote ambao wanaendelea kujitokeza kufanya hiyo challenge leo ndiyo siku ya mwisho kabisa kwa sababu kesho ndio tutakuwa tunaelekea hospitali kuweza kumalizia hiyo balance kwa hivyo kama bado hujapata nafasi ya kufanya hivyo na thani kwamba tumebakia na kidogo tu kama elfu nane so naamini kwamba baada leo usiku kwa sababu kuna watu ambao walikuwa wamepromise kwamba watamalizia leo ama wataweza kupata nafasi leo ya kufanya hiyo challenge ukifanya hivyo basi Naamini kwamba by kesho tutakuwa tumefanikiwa kupata hiyo uh, target yetu na Mwenyezi Mungu azidi kukubariki tena zaidi. So uh, mbila sijabota sana mdo wako sana nataka kwanza usikilize kidogo vile William Samoe Ruto aliweza kuzungumza siku hii ya leo akiwa upande wa kwale alafu tuendelee kuzungumza zaidi.
passed down to us from their era and which we must faithfully transmit clearly and boldly to the future generations is that every citizen of Kenya is a full and equal member of our political community entitled to make a contribution to nation building and with an inalienable right to a full, just and fair share of all the benefits that accrue from our development. No proposition to discriminate or to unjustly diminish one while enlarging another's right is admissible anywhere. Therefore, any formula seeking to exclude, alienate, or disenfranchise any person, group of community, for any reason is repugnant to the very essence of our nationhood. We are one people, and Kenya is one united, indivisible, and sovereign nation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, freedom came at great cost and was won against overwhelming odds. It called for a capacity to embrace immense sacrifice and willingness to pay the ultimate price. We remember them and appreciate their sacrifices. We recognize their achievements and acknowledge that the nation we have today, with its past history and future prospects, is a legacy of their work, commitment, and life. Every day, the Constitution commands us to honor our freedom fighters who struggled heroically to bring freedom and justice to our land by living up to the spirit of Ushuja in the way we relate with one another, pursue our vocations, and build our nation. Article 10 of the Constitution shows us how to be Mashuja in our own way, day by day, every day. The freedom fighters were inspired by enduring universal principles and values which have transcended generations and live with us today. Unity, sharing, integrity, courage, determination and patriotism are our sources of strength in the face of difficulty, risk and danger. The struggle for freedom is the overwhelming and everlasting mission of humanity because in freedom lies the opportunity to achieve peace and democracy, health and wealth, justice and dignity, equality and inclusion, as well as unity in the pursuit of prosperity individually and collectively. Freedom is the key that opens the door to sustainable progress in every sector. That is why today we are a modern competitive economy and a devolved democratic society. Our freedom has allowed us the space to grow and perfect our nationhood, sustaining the spirit of freedom to evolve from the monopoly of liberation movement into a dynamic, pluralistic society where competition makes us stronger. Since the ultimate goal of freedom is sustainable development, the heroic struggle of our time must focus on achieving this through inclusive growth. The Ushuja of our era calls for urgent mobilization to create wealth and jobs, reduce poverty and inequality, and protect our environment. The dedication we bring to these tasks will determine how well we uphold the legacy of Mekadilili, Wamenza, and other freedom fighters. This fact is abundantly clear to us. The persistent unemployment, severe poverty, increasing inequality, and general growth under development are not only undesirable, but are also an acceptable derogation from the legacy of our Mashuja and the spirit of our intergenerational commitment to freedom. Recognizing this, 
the government formulated a plan aimed at enhancing dignity and security, creating wealth and expanding opportunities by increasing investments in infrastructure development, essential service delivery, and the productivity of key strategic sectors. The bottom-up economic transformation agenda is Kenya's economic freedom charter which mobilizes unprecedented levels So mtazamaji huyo ni rais wako William Samoi Ruto rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya akizungumza upande wa kwale siku hii ya leo nimekwambia kama kuna watu ambao wanampoteza William Ruto ni hao watu ambao wanafanya intelligence kwa sababu hawamwambii kile ambacho wakenya wanasema hata mtu kama hata mtu mwenye hajasomea mambo ya intelligence mtazamaji wangu Ukiingia tu kwa post ya William Ruto ya Facebook ile latest post yake William Ruto ya Facebook utapata kwamba wale watu ambao wako pale wengi wanaongea in fact William Ruto ame post akizungumzia kuhusu ngoja nipate hiyo post William Samoi Ruto nimeona ame post akizungumzia kuhusu mambo ya affordable housing siku hii ya leo William Ruto Ukiangalia hii post yake ya William Ruto ya mwisho unaona kwamba sio ya mwisho ni ya asubuhi ambayo alipost akizungumzia kuhusu mambo ya affordable housing ukiingia kapo katika sehemu ya comment section utakutana na wakenya wengi sana wanalalamika wanasema kwamba uh, kwa, kwa, wana, yani wanaongea tu negative kuhusu William Ruto na serikali yake lakini pia ukiangalia posti ya mwisho ya Rigathi Kashagwa ukiangalia posti ya mwisho ya Rigathi Kashagwa mtazamaji wangu unaweza sema huyo ndio president Rigathi Kashagwa Ukiangalia post ya mwisho ya uh, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa utapata kwamba aliandika tu ape mashujaa de India Kenyans God bless our nation. Na ukiangalia hiyo post imepata likes 1063 na ikapata comments 1030. Hii inakuonesha nini? Hii inaonesha kwamba watu alafu ukiangalia hizi comments hautapatana na uh, negative comments. Uwezi patana na negative comment hata moja kama ni moja tu pengine ya bahati moja tu lakini uh, 90%, 96 97 98% ya hizi comments ambazo ziko kwa Rigathi Gashagwa ni wa Kenya ambao wanamwambia api mashujaa day wewe ni hero wewe ni shujaa na mambo kama hayo lakini ukiingia kwa penji ya yule Muruto utakutana na matusi yote pale wa Kenya wanaongea na hasira tena zaidi wengi wanasema kwamba hatukua tunajua kwamba kumbe wewe ni mtu wa aina hii Wengi sana sana watu wa Mlima Kenya wanasema kwamba wangejua wanaamka asubuhi kwenda kupigia mtu ambaye atakuja kubadilika na kuwa kama vile William Ruto amekuwa recently hawangejaribu kuweza kumpigia kura. Kwa hivyo watu wengi sana wanazungumza negative katika comment section zake uh, William Ruto lakini ukiangalia kwa Rigathi Gashagwa utakubaliana na mimi kwamba watu wengi wana muombe ya Rigathi Gashagwa haze kupona haraka lakini pia wengine wanamwambia kwamba hapi mashujaa day kwa hivyo inaonekana kwamba ground sasa hivi imehamia kwa Rigathi Gashagwa kwa sababu ya yale mambo ambayo William Ruto anamfanyia lakini nataka kwenye hii video next ni kuonesha vile Rigathi Gashagwa amezungumza na hasira akisema kwamba walitaka kumuua mara tatu lakini akawa mjanja so kidogo tu kabla uh, zija kuchezea hiyo video na kuomba kwanza usubscribe na kutano notification bell ili tukatia hiyo video next huo kwanza kuweza kuipokea. Usiende mali narejea hivi bunde tu baada ya dakika kama ya 20 na hiyo video yake rigadhi ikashagwa kwa sasa. Bye bye.